Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that would be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. All right, doing the front brake pads. Replacing the front brake pads on a 2012 Ford Focus and other Ford models with a very similar setup. Here's the brake fluid cap left to loosen. You may want to get in there and use a clean, clean rag and or if you have some kind of suction device, suck a little fluid out of there, bring it below the maximum level because we'll be collapsing the pistons and some fluid will be going back up in the system filling the bottle. So there's the max level written right there. All right, we'll go to the tires. Hub caps of, hub caps of some kind. Pull off five 19 millimeter lug nuts. You want to just break them loose left to, yeah, huh, look at that. Left to loosen counterclockwise, right to tighten. So we'll be loosening these uh, five lug nuts on the ground, tires on the ground, and you break them loose a turn or two, then you can jack up your vehicle as needed and use safety jacks to protect yourself, safety stands. So if your jack fails, you, something will catch it besides a body part or something. So we're going to get this wheel off next and get to the caliper. Let's see how the lug nut goes on too. This part is against the wheel right here, not the flat side. handy to uh, make sure the steering wheel is not locked or reaching the car is necessary. You can turn the wheel so it faces you, makes it things much easier. Nice big LH on there, probably for left hand since we're working on the driver's side. Got some covers we can just pull off right here. On the bottom, one on the top, one on the bottom. If you're noticing, these brake pads are really thick and we're not gonna actually replace them. This is purely for demonstration purposes on replacing your front brakes on your Ford Focus. We have this uh, springy device right here. Fits in two holes. And pull it out of the hole. Just like that. like to collapse the pistons a little bit. My screwdriver in here, somewhere between the rotor and the brake pad if possible and collapse it down this way. Doesn't look like there's a lot of space though between the edge of the caliper and the brake pad and it's quite flush there so I'm not sure it's going to work. Just trying the caliper and inside the rotor here. You can see that works, and we can check to see if our caliper slides are sliding. <clears throat> see they're working real well as they should. Take a peek inside here. And we'll get the right tool to take off the caliper. What's fitting for me, and they can always change things on calipers, 7 millimeter hex or Allen wrench.
Again, as I mentioned, probably left to loosen, right to tighten all bolts. And nuts. Take them off and maybe put a little, uh, there's a special brake lubricant you can use for caliper slides. You can put a little lubricant on here. Everything's look, feeling pretty good. We saw how well it was sliding. You can see these do not need to be replaced. Usually they'll be thin when you're replacing them. A couple millimeters thick is probably time to replace them. At this point, if money is really, really tight, and if you drive your car and do not feel any brake pedal pulsation, that's when you're stepping on the brakes and the brake pedal just does this and you're at your feet. Or if the steering wheel is shaking when you're braking, most likely the rotors are warped and should be machined or replaced. If they're not, you can go ahead and just start throwing some brake pads again if uh, money is very tight. It's a friction fit, pretty basic. snaps right into place. At this point, to finish collapsing your piston, you can use a large C-clamp or large channel locks and just squeeze it, compress it until it stops moving. The piston will bottom out and stop moving, so just go ahead and do that to make sure you get your new brake pads in place. It's an 18 millimeter socket. Might be a time where you need a half inch breaker bar. Break things loose. caliper. You want to take a, a rag or a little sandpaper emery, emery cloth. You can see where it's been rubbing on here. Just go ahead and clean this all up. A little brake clean or rag or some sandpaper and blow it off and uh, that should be just fine. And we can go ahead and reinstall it. You can see there's a little blue Loctite on here. I'm not exactly sure you need to worry about that out uh, doing it in your driveway but I have some so I'm going to use it a little bit. See the rotor just comes off. Put a new one on or get a new machine and put it back on. Put your caliper on. Starting all bolts by hand, you don't want to do any cross threading, it's very annoying.
tighten the bolts up. Check sure they're tight. <clears throat> yep. Mounting our uh, outer brake pad. Just kind of drops into place there. Pretty sweet. Inner pad and cal caliper kind of fall in the same spot on the inside. Got a little nice purple brake lube on here. Slide back in the holes in the back. And of course, as we talked about, we're going to start these bolts by hand. You can see the bolt up here. Give the caliper a little wiggle jiggle to uh, get things lined up. Tighten them up. Our spring like so. Put our two covers back on if uh, they haven't been lost. Put your tire on, start all the bolts by hand. Then we can torque the bolts down probably to 100 foot pounds for at least four tires. Have what's called a torque stick. It should accurately allow me to tighten the bolts to about 100 foot pounds. Cap. Little dimple here for the uh, valve stem.
I'm going to go to the uh, brake fluid here after we've pumped the brake pedal several times to get everything set. And we can take this off and add or subtract fluid as necessary at the master cylinder. That would complete your front brake pad replacement, your front brake rotors on your 2012 Ford Focus and other model years and makes, I am sure. Very basic brake setup.